Mijn naam is Katie Janari en ik werk al 14 jaar op Bronach Plaats in die Kouwebokkenveld. Bronach is een appel en pear farm near Cirrus in the Western Cape. Katie is a training manager at the farm. Ons het hier in juni 2009 het ek en my man uh, werkswinkel van Fairtrade bijgewoon. Uh, ons het baie geleer daar bij een ander plaas wat ook daar is. En persoonlijk wil ik meer weet uh, oor Fairtrade vereistes wat hulle stel, want uh, ons wil graag ook aan Fairtrade behoort. Katie is preparing for a 14-day road trip that will take her to two fair trade farms and fair trade's offices in Cape Town. You know, this is the beginning of the year. And then when you look at my kinders and my cat and your own, so that they will cause it every year. And I will be by your miss. She'll be accompanied by Marlon Olofsson, a fair trade liaison officer. Hello, Marlon. How's it? Good, and you? Fine. You're all ready for yes. the trip? Yes, we can go. <laughs> Great. At a roadside stop, Marlon introduces the fair trade system. So Katie, Fairtrade gaan oor die rechtvaardige handelskondities vir klein boere en plaaswerkers soos jy. En Fairtrade geef vir jou die geleentheid om jou bezigheid te verbeter en te beleen een beter toekomst vir jou, jou familie en jou gemeenskap. En dit is basis die visie van Fairtrade. O, nou verstaan ek Dit gaan oor die gemeenskap en nie oor individuen. Fairtrade labeling organization known as FLO is an international membership organization. FLO sets fair trade standards, provides support for producers and determines fair trade's global strategy. Katie's first stop is Vuki, a farm near Grabo in the Western Cape. Vuki has been fair trade certified since 2004. Katie is welcomed by Anne Ketteldas, the farm's admin manager. Hallo, Eén, hoe gaan het? Alright, ik ben heel. Nee, ik kan niet klaar nie. While touring the orchards, Anne introduces Katie to fair trade standards. En die algemene standaarde is daar, dit gaan oor die werken zelfs, werksgeleendhede en ook die, die sociale aspecten waar die werkgever moet nakom. En dan gaan het ook oor die environmental standards wat die werkgever moet nakom. Mm-hmm. En die ander um, standaarde waar daar is, is meer productgewijs en dit sal soos bijvoorbeeld vir wijndrijwe en vir avocadepere en die persoene wees om in die fairtrade system in te gaan. There are two types of standards. The first are minimum requirements that must be in place when a farm joins the fairtrade system. The second are progress requirements. These are additional requirements that are introduced over time. Anne explains how fairtrade's premium works the premium is an extra amount of money earned by workers and managed by a joint body. The joint body must have a bank account to open to help the premium to bestuur. And then they are also responsible for the project to bestuur and as a monster for the other workers to be to decide how the funds are going to be given. This premium is paid by fair trade certified buyers at a fixed rate and is earned independently from the money that the company gets paid for the same produce. This premium money can be used for social and economic development projects that will benefit the workers, their families and their communities. Next morning, Katie joins a meeting of Vuki's joint body. They are jointly responsible for managing and spending the premium on behalf of workers. The joint body represents both seasonal and temporary workers and management. When they meet, they must record what was said and inform workers of the decisions that were made. Fair trade liaison officers give training and support to joint bodies and workers. Here, Marlon explains how to determine what premium to expect from this year's harvest. The joint body uses the premium to improve the lives of workers. It can't pay the premium out in cash or kind. The premium can be used for many kinds of projects. 
At Vuki, the fair trade premium has improved workers' lives by funding a creche that cares for employees' children while they're at work. A clinic on the farm that provides low-cost primary health care, adult basic education and training, a computer center, a library, the farm soccer team, and a women's group. Next, Katie meets Nicola Baskachny and Sophie Domingo, members of Vuki's Workers' Committee. On fair trade farms, a workers' committee is elected if there's no farm workers' trade union active. The committee represents workers, it deals with their problems, and it negotiates with management to defend their rights and protect their interests. How is your workers' committee's structure and how are you going to work? Then look at us, so five on the workers' committee. What do they normally do? The whole work, the permanent workers. They come and they choose a few names, and those names come on paper, and from that paper they come on paper. A yellow clump, mensen. Now five and nine mensen dien op die werkers raad. The workers committee must be democratically elected. Workers must be given time to organise themselves and hold meetings without interference from management. Regular meetings are held between the workers committee and senior management to deal with workers' problems. Die vergaderings geskiet dit tydens werksure. Ja, kijk die. In werktyd gaan ons amal klimmos in die bakkies in. Trekkers en die lorry en zo'n, dan komen ze allemaal die afzal toe. En als in die werkerstijd praten ze allemaal met elkaar over die problemen wat moeilijk daar kan wees. En dan sorteren we sommige daar uit. Fair trade standards protect workers by ensuring that they earn a minimum wage and work reasonable hours. The standards also govern overtime work. Dit is bitter man dat ons oortijd werk. Daar wordt een zekere tijd neergezet. En als ons oor die tijd gaan... Dan worden die mensen daarvoor vergoed. Overtime work is voluntary. Workers are paid one and a half times the regular wage and don't have to work more than 12 hours overtime per week. In een uh, openbare vakantie daar? Openbare vakantie daar uh, werk ons gewoonlijk niet. Als ons moet werken, houden we ons altijd een vergadering. En dan zal die werkersraad inroep en die werkersraad vooral luister. Ons gaan soos bijvoorbeeld nou die 22ste. Gaan ons allemaal werk, maar dan krijgen we onze andere dag af. Of je kan kies, of je die dubbele dag zijn salaris wil hè, dus je eigen kiezen. Female workers get at least eight weeks maternity leave on full pay. This increases to 12 weeks once a farm has been part of fair trade for several years. The standards are based on international labour standards, but when local law gives greater benefit to workers, then it is applied. For example, the standards say that workers must get at least two weeks annual leave on full pay. But in South Africa, the law gives workers three weeks leave. In this case, local law is followed rather than the fair trade standard. That what I have seen and heard is my very learsome and interesting. I miss my man, but I have clearly decided I will go back to Mukito and we will be together. En hier die ochtend hier mijn koning, dat die ook die hand van genade oorlog zal houden voor de vader, dat die ook de morgen. Next morning, Katie meets with Mark McDonald, Vuki's environmental officer. He shows her the chemical store. Mark, hoe wordt die chemicaliën veilig gestoord? Kijk die die belangrijke dingen zijn. Het komt uit in die opleiding wat al die ouders elke jaar moet doorgaan. Met die hantering van die chemikalie. En een van die belangrike goede natuurlijk is dat die chemikalie toegesluit moet word in een specifieke stoor. En een van die ander goed wat ons moet doen is, is om, soos jy hier so kan sien, die poeiers is boe en die vloeistof is onder. So dat in geval daar vloeistof begin een lek, dat het dan nie boe op die poeier drip nie. Een van feitrijse vereiste is dat die spuit maar net vier uur per dag moet spuit. Hoe gaan jylle te werk? Wel, wat ons doen is, ons het een redelike groot spuitspan, so ons kan die ouwens afwissel om toe te sien dat die ouwe nie vir vier ure aan een hoef te werk. 
en ook die ander sy van die saak is, as hy ou een uh, bykie van een breek kry, en dan kan hy op een latere stadium net weer aangaan, net om hy blootstelling wat, die, wat, wat daar is, een bykie te verminder. Was daar enige chemikalie wat jylle moes ophoog gebruik nadat jylle by veertruid aangesluit het? Ja, kijk die, daar is een paar chemikalie op veertruidse lys, en van het ons by veertruid aangesluit het, was soos die twee of drie wat ons gebruik het, wat ons toe ophoog gebruik het. Fairtrade has many standards relating to health and safety. Spraying is a potentially hazardous activity and must be done safely. Workers must wear protective clothing when handling hazardous chemicals. Immediately after spraying, the orchard must be closed for several hours and signs posted to warn workers not to enter. The plants must be completely dry before any work is undertaken and sprayers must be given regular medical checkups. Later that morning, Mark shows Katie how Vuki practices sustainable farming. Fairtrade's environmental standards promote ecologically friendly practices such as protection and conservation of the soil and water, responsible land preparation, sustainable waste management and reduced use of agrochemicals. Katie, the sleutel in boerderij is natuurlijk vol houdbaarheid, want we zullen allemaal over 20 of 30 of 100 jaar nog hier wees. So wat ons doen is, ons bring hierdie organiese materiaal en ons kom gooi dit hier onder die bome. En as ek nou so wegkrap kan jy sien hoe lekker nat dit is onder, al is dit droog boe. En dit help met die water en so. En soos hierdie, hierdie mulching wat ons dit noem dan nou afbreek, um, bevorder dit die biologische inhoud van die grond. En dan het jy automatisch een gezonder boom. Die voordeel wat ons krijgen is, ons gebruik nou baie minder fertilizer um, wat ons moet saai so ons bespaar ons kostes, dan is die boom een bykie meer bestand tegen die siektes wat om aanval en so. Um, en dan hoef ons automatisch minder spuitstoffe te gebruik. Um, dit, ook, dit spaar ook die omgeving. Having learned how fair trade works at a large scale hired labor farm, Katie says her goodbyes. En baie dankie, vriend. Kijk hier by jou, dit was interessant en weer saam. Dankie, hier is appels waar ek maar saam had vir julle. Baie dankie. Mm, Hoop ek sien jou weer. The next leg of her journey is the big city. Her first appointment is at FlowCert, the fair trade body that does certification and auditing. She meets Lisa Sufert, the certification analyst. So what can I do for you? I want to know how you work at FlowCert. FlowCert is the certification body of fair trade. And what we do is we apply the standards which FlowEV um, defined and we check that the producers or the traders that are fair trade certified that they comply with these standards. If some of the standards are not being complied with, we have to make sure that they are corrected. Hoe moet ons aanzoek doen om gesertificeerd te word? Okay, as a first step, you you have to fill in an application form which is very general and this will be processed by the application team which is in, in our head office in Germany. She will request an application fee. They send the, this package to the responsible analyst who then starts the communication with you and um, organizes the audit. And once um, the audit is complete and you have corrected all non-conformities found, you will receive a certificate for three years.